Right now, if you travel to Ahmedabad from Mumbai by train, it'll take about eight hours. But once the bullet train project is ready, it's going to take just two hours and seven minutes. According to Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav, the project construction is progressing at a fast pace ever since work began in November 2021. <laughs> और बहुत ही अच्छी प्रोग्रेस है जो स्केड्यूल बनाया हुआ है उसके हिसाब से काम चल रहा है बल्कि उससे बेटर ही काम चल रहा है द फर्स्ट सेक्शन ऑफ द बुलेट ट्रेन इज स्लेटेड टू स्टार्ट बाय ऑगस्ट 2026 लेट्स लुक एट दिस होल प्रोजेक्ट इन डेप्थ एंड व्हाट इट विल मीन नॉट जस्ट फॉर यू एंड मी एज कम्यूटर्स बट फॉर इंडियाज एंटायर रेल नेटवर्क सो द ट्रेन विल रन फ्रॉम बीकेसी दैट इज बैंड्रा कुर्ला कॉम्प्लेक्स इन मुंबई and stop at Thane, Virar and Boisar in Maharashtra before heading to Gujarat where it'll stop at Vapi, Valsad, Surat, Bharuch, Vadodara and Anand before reaching Ahmedabad. It will finally stop at Sabarmati. The operational speed of the train will be 320 km per hour. The project is being built at a cost of 1.1 lakh crore rupees. The center is providing 10000 crore rupees of this while Gujarat and Maharashtra are contributing 5000 crore rupees each. The remaining amount has been secured through a loan from Japan at a 0.1% interest rate. The total length of the project is 508 kilometers of which 468 kilometers will be elevated and 27 kilometers will be underground. 13 kilometers will be at grade Basically the length from BKC to Shilpata in Thane will be underground for which a 21 km long tunnel is being dug. Work on the tunnel has already started. This tunnel is one of the key features of the bullet train project and there's some marvelous engineering going into it. For one India's largest tunnel boring machine even larger than the one that was used for the coastal road project is being used. Three tunnel boring machines will be used to make 16 kilometers of this tunnel and the remaining part will be made by the new Austrian tunneling method which is a sophisticated way to monitor and optimize wall reinforcements based on the type of rock encountered. The tunnel's depth will range from 25 to 57 meters below the ground and the deepest point is 114 meters in Thane. The best part of this tunnel is that it will run under the sea for 7 kilometers which will make it the first undersea rail tunnel in India and the longest undersea tunnel in the country. The single tube tunnel will accommodate twin tracks for both up and down lines. There are three shafts which are facilitating the construction. One is at BKC, one is at Vikroli and one is in Thane. It's not just the Mumbai Thane stretch that's cutting edge. The corridor will have 24 river bridges, 28 steel bridges and 7 mountain tunnels. The railway stations will be state of the art and the corridor has a slab track system. This technology will be used for the first time in India though it's been used in other countries for high speed rail lines. It was invented and evolved in Japan. The first high speed railway in Japan which is popularly known as Shinkansen began in 1964. While a different track was used earlier, a study on the slab track system started in 1965 and it is now widely used. It is extremely resilient as a structure for high-speed rail networks. Though the initial costs are higher, but in the long run, the economics works out better according to Japan's experience. The bullet train corridor will also feature an earthquake detection system with the National High Speed Rail Corporation which is taking care of the project set to install 28 seismometers along the corridor. The early earthquake detection system is also based on the Japanese Shinkansen technology. This will not only protect the critical infrastructure but also enhance the safety of passengers. Minister Ashwini Vaishnav has said that a 50 km stretch between Bilimura and Surat in Gujarat will be operational by August 2026 and a larger section will open up in 2027. The underground station at BKC is expected to be ready by 2028 so the entire project will be operational after that. The bullet train corridor is expected to give an economic internal rate of return amounting to just over 11% which is considered desirable for infrastructure projects.